this. This back crunch here. And, uh, this Nashville race was, uh, pretty crazy. Finish was, uh, pretty unbelievable. I think it was a great race, to be honest. It was pretty entertaining, but these wrecks got, uh, out of hand at the end. The aggression, the gap first, single file, and at the end to, like, a crazy, uh, caution fest. But, uh, to start out the beginning of the race, uh, stage one, it, it wasn't... It, it looked nothing like at the end in stage three. It's like not too much aggression. Like I, we've seen that a bunch of, like a bunch of times throughout the season. I think probably like that that's gone on for a while. But like how the drivers like start out the race with like just like calm, and then their aggression like moves up because or just goes up because it's uh. It depends on the wind. You gotta be more aggressive, and uh, we saw plenty of that today. But it, yeah, back to the start of it. Single file, not a lot happened. Uh, I think. Wait, no, that was stage two. Or, I think stage one was like. Uh, green. Yeah, I think it was. It was green, so no cautions throughout that. No, I didn't. Okay, sorry about that. But, um... Stage 2 is where uh, things kind of got out of hand. Well, not really, but... Um... Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for that. You have to wait. I'm checking the recap again. Yeah. Stage one was green all the way, I think. I I'm most likely wrong, but um back to that. Was it Nima check that um I wasn't I don't think I was paying attention to that. But uh he blew a tire, I think, but there was damage on his fender. And then the second then the second caution was um Ty Gibbs spinning onto the front of the grass from um making contact with Alex Bowman. And that, that was kind of like the start to uh, everything going wrong. But until the red flag came out, the rain delay, but it wasn't too long. It cleared up pretty, not, not that quickly. But we got back racing, and that's a... Uh, Continued to be chaos and the aggression started. The drivers started to be more aggressive and Christopher Bell wrecked too, which uh, I was pretty disappointed about. But um, going to the final stage, then like one hundred laps ago, actually no, it was, it was like green flag runs. It was like it was pretty decent at first. Like I. Like, you wouldn't expect too much caution to be going out until, like, it got to the overtime, I think. Yeah, the overtime. Or was it the... I think it was overtime, but that's when a bunch of things happened. And I think the first wreck for another overtime was, um... Uh, yeah. So it was Kyle Larson that he... It looked to me that uh, he was trying to move Denny Hamlin out the way, like us uh, sending it, but the, it I don't think that turned out well because Ross Chastain ended up getting wrecked. It was just like being way too aggressive, trying to move a driver out the way and that didn't go well. Kind of ruined him, his his race. The end of the race could have won. He had a fast car too, and. Uh, yeah, the cautions kept coming. But the entertaining uh, part about this race was I was yelling at the TV. Me and my dad were watching. And when I start yelling at the TV like crazy person, that's when I know I'm enjoying the race. Like, it's pure enjoyment. When your favorite driver uh, has a chance to win, I think uh, I just start yelling.
which uh is not the best habit, but uh I do that. Uh Oh yeah, so before the overtime, I forgot about this part. So it looked like Denny Hamlin was about to get that win, fuel saving, about to run out of fuel, and that the plane backfired pretty badly because those overtimes caused uh, Denny Denny Hamlin to run out, not run out of fuel, but having him to make pit stop with Martin Trex Jr. This led all to a Logano win, which is I, I those it's a big W. W for the weekend. Still pretty speechless about everything, but the Kyle Larson running out of fuel in front of Kyle Bush. I was pretty upset about that. But these this this was an insane race. I I love it. It's ten out of ten for me. And uh and I I'm I'm wondering how the Chicago Street course will go. Hopefully not too chaotic, but yeah, this was a great race. And I want to know how you enjoyed the race in the comments. I am sorry that I'm uh, kind of getting stuck on things. I don't have that energy to spit out all the information that I've gathered in my head. It's, it's, it's like 10, 10 p.m. that I'm recording this. Pretty late. It is, it's nighttime, so. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll, I thank you if you made it to the end to this boring video that I made. Same with uh, all my other videos. But uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.